See, we all just met within the last year. Alright, uh, it's really loud, so if you guys would, like want to talk, so say blah 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 blah. It's running. He's on jump in. I'm gonna hit the bathroom. I'll be back. But it's running. Just start talking shit. Okay. Alright, so I'm here at the promontory and I'm interviewing Ouija in 2087. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Bless Teddy, bless Teddy. We all having a great time. It's a great vibe. Incredible artists right, on stage. My man's just welcome. popped in. Uh, yeah, got it. Welcome to Above Language. What's We're here with, uh, what I'm, should we call you? Are y'all independent here? Uh, individual? Oh, yeah, we're individual. Yeah, I'm, just go down the line. I'm Truman. You can call me Teddy. Ouija, Ouija Wises. And I go by year 2087. Year 2087, all right, all right. What about that year specifically? So, um, if you like listen to my sound, it's very futuristic. Um, I'm an artist, I'm a rap artist that came from like producing and DJing electronic music. Okay. So with like coming from the EDM side, like that was always a very futuristic sound to me. So what I did was like, I found a way to like bridge that gap between the like EDM. The lights, and you got all that stuff. Exactly. It's futuristic already. Exactly. Yeah. So like the name says it all like when you hear the music. Okay. What about you two? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm Teddy. AKA Truman. Um, I got that name from the Truman Show. Oh, the Truman you know Show. I, mean? all right, all right. I just love the surreal aspect of it. Yeah. And coming from the hood, you know what I mean? It, it's almost like. It's a little aspect. Of yeah, it, right? you yeah. know, it's like, it's almost unreal the stuff that a lot of us have gone through, you know what I mean? To get to where we're at. Yeah. And so, Truman is the name, you know, rapping is the game, you feel me? Uh -huh. and, and Truman is an incredible lyricist, one of the best in the city. I, I, right. I vouch that. I'm Ouija, Ouija Wises. I'm all about positivity, love. My mission statement on this world is to spread love and broken spirits, and I do that through the power of music. Yes, sir. What's, um, yes, sir. What's the music like? Very psychedelic. It's mixed with all different types of genres, right. soul music, indie rock. Um, Hip hop, of course. Yeah, yes. very multi. Very multi. Genre, it, yeah, I just, okay. yeah, it's it's, it's something what's the, different. What's the writing process like? Something like that. Um, honestly, I just stand in front of the mic and whatever I feel, it comes out like that. Just play around, throw things at the wall, see what comes out. You make your own beats or like your own backing tracks? The no, stuff I do not. I got, got like a gang a, of producers right gang now. Gang of producers. All right. Yeah. What about you guys? I'm sorry. I, um, I produce, mix, master, yeah. record, everything, like all myself. Um, been doing that for damn like 10 years. Like I worked at Guitar Center, worked in the audio department. Like I had like the like perfect like growth. <laughs> um, and then like I said, I used to like produce EDM and shit like that. So like... Yeah. Uh, and, um, I, it's Alex, Alexander going on, Lewis is joining us. What the fuck is up, boys? What's what up, what's up? What's going we're on? We're just chilling, introducing chilling. ourselves, that's it. Big chilling? Yeah, we're just chilling, introducing ourselves. What up, Alex? Is this a music group? All nope. independent. All all independent. Yeah. We just all, rock with each other. All independent? Yeah. All on this bitch? So we're we gonna make a group together. Three birds, three birds in one, really. We might, we might do a lot of songs together, but I think we all have, I think we all have a different path. All identities, right all your own identities. Yeah. Oh, big vibes. So what kind of, did you ask the question? Yeah, I was just, uh, I forgot the question now. You was yeah, asking him? Uh, uh, about yeah, about the, how you guys get your beats and how they're production. Right. Right. So yeah, I produce my own. Yeah, all right, and then you, uh. Um, I use producers from wherever I can find them, as long as the music is there, you know. The beat comes it feels first good and right. your style. That's, that's first, you know, I, I get the vibe and I, I write all the time. But once I hear a vibe that goes with whatever I'm writing or whatever the mood is, I need that. So it, I'm, I'm real picky about it, which sucks for some people, but it's great you for me. To, that's what you're yeah. putting, you that's what you're putting your, that's your, uh, your product. Right. That's, you really like your product. You know? And it, it comes out great, you know what I mean? And as far as these guys, we're here together because I rock with him 2087. And this futuristic style is perfect for what I got coming up. And then Ouija, as far as his energy and as far as the indie rock side of things, and I'm telling you, man, these guys, they have this this, this energy that you just can't find, all you can't like replicate. All rappers? Yeah, all rappers? Yeah, rapper. Producers? Producer? Yeah. So I rap, produce, uh, I can mix your shit, master your shit. What's your uh, DAW? I use Ableton. Ableton? Ooh. Yeah. Have you ever Ableton, heard of Mixcraft? Yes. I, I'm heavy on that, bro. I'm a wizard, bro. 
I'm oh, a wizard on Mixcraft. Oh, that's lit. Yeah, that's my shit, bro. I heard, I know a few people that still use that. I used to work at like Guitar Center, and like yeah. all the knowledge and like like everything that like grew from that, like Mixcraft, Pro Tools. Like I can't stand Pro Tools. Pro Tools is like rocket science. To I didn't me. like how it looked, bro. It looks so outdated. Exactly, it so but they call it industry standard. But like I love Ableton because like it's just easier to produce a sample. And then I can also use that as like a live performance. All right, Mixcraft well. is crazy with uh, just uh, breaking up samples. Yeah. Like I love like you can throw a record in there and just I'm a wizard at it, bro. I know it. I don't want to fucking speak multiple languages. Yeah. To learn all that shit, like logic and all that, you really have to like go through a fucking book and put hours in. There's something do. like Ableton's real complicated, but once you get to know it, you have so much yeah. stuff you can do with it. And then really like the love that like um love that like um oh, sorry. The love that Ableton has, like on like the um, like when it comes down to like YouTube, like no matter what question you have, there's a YouTube video about Ableton yeah. and how to do this, this, and that. Like, do you, uh, like piano, how do you break up your samples? Do you go all with the keypad? No, so I do, I do everything with like the keys and the mouth pad. Like I, I'm not like traditionally taught. Like I learned how to produce and make music by like frequencies. So like basically, like if something sounds like that audio matches with that other audio then it works for me. So like my music isn't like, like classically trained like are um, like, like musicians probably hate my music because everything is like almost like a mash of like frequencies, but it works. Like it's like, it's almost, it's something you gotta hear to like understand it. You, uh, you sample records? Yes. What, what's your uh, genre that you like to sample? I mainly like, I like to mix, I like to mix like soul samples with like electronic sound. So like, like house music, for example. Like when you listen to think of like house and techno, like it's always like that soulful vocal over the top of like synths and like basses and shit like that. So I found a way to like turn that into like hip hop. So like I have a track called like Face that just dropped, and like the intro is a sample of uh, something I found on Splice. But it sounds like it sounds old and nostalgic. So you know, like, like mixing 80s. up those kind of weird sounds and taking something that's not really music and then turning it into like exactly. Yeah. Like I love it. Do you produce for you guys? Not yet. Oh. Me and him got something crazy coming. Oh, yeah. you guys got okay. something in the works? Yeah, something in the works, but... <laughs> what's, I, your, what's your vibe like? Psychedelic. You're a psychedelic guy? Psych yes, yeah, Psychedelic man. rap? Psychedelic rap, uh, like... Psychedelic rock, funk, soul. I mix all of that. Like, I have a very... I have a very versatile music taste and I incorporate all of that a in my music. slower? Slower, I have urgency, I could do it all. Yeah, yeah. urgency is a good word. Urgency is a good word for like that. <laughs> I like that. You know? I like that. So you guys kind of all bring something different to the table then. It sounds like you all have very unique styles and kind of different things going on. You being primarily a lyricist, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's like bars. Are you more like a hook guy or bar head? Both. Both. I'm, I'm a songwriter. Nothing's better than a good hook, a good 16, a good hook, you know, bridge. Fucking, yeah. That's what yeah. makes you a great yeah, when you're able to do yeah. all three. There's yeah. a lot of rappers that they, they can't sing. They could rap their ass off, but they can't make or a Or their hook, hook is usually a fucking rap hook. Like, it's like the bar. It's like a normal transition to their, their 16th flow. But if you can have, like, a vibey hook or something different, and then get that your 16th, then you're very versatile. But how many rappers did give that that rap that rap hook into a rap 16? I'm very huge on song structure, yeah. so my songs have a lot of bridges, free choruses, reframes, hooks, second hooks. Like I have. It makes it exciting, bro. So exactly. You're more of like a traditional like, songwriter. Don't, like you're don't kind of like it. structuring and you're pros in a traditional sense. Don't get it twisted. I do love a good one loop. Far heavy three minute song. I do love that shit, but if that's your whole catalog, it, it gets I'm you out the window. Yeah. If we're talking about like fucking, you know, you gotta be able to fucking throw a, throw a diversity, right? And that, that's what I'm all about. I just dropped a project called Ouija Delia. You ain't never heard nothing like it. You dropping a project soon? I already dropped one last month, actually. About, yeah, it's been a month. It was a month two days yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. First one? Second one. Second one. My first one, you I got dropped. got a credit on that? No, not, not yet. Oh, you gotta give my boy credit. Oh, oh, we the oh. next one. We cook next it. We cook it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we cook it. My first project was in October. It was called High Frequencies Only. Okay, I like that. Incredible. Um, the reception with that was great. I have two music videos out for that. 
um, working on a lot of stuff with the Ouija Dilia, still promoting it, still rolling it out. We about to hit the streets still with the fucking shit out. Oh, Are you hell a Chicago yeah. boy? Yes, sir. Chicago, Born and Chicago raised. Boys? Yeah, Chicago yeah. boy. Yeah. Southside. Sir, Southside. Southside. Huh? Why? No, I think we gotta like. Uh, you got more to say? Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to say that. Anyway. All right. <laughs> um, as far as I'm, I'm a bar heavy, I'm a lyricist and stuff like that. But right now I'm working on a, on a neo soul project, which would be more, more just musical. You know what I mean? It's me trying to go down a more musical path and not and just not being bar heavy. You know what I'm saying? I've done singing and things in the past, but I'm just kind of kind of spread out in the genre. Freestyling, right. getting behind the booth yeah. and freestyle, right. or you got song structures? Both. Both. Yeah, I, I freestyle. I got a bunch of freestyles, so you can't just look at your phone the whole time because you lose that 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 mysterious that comes with freestyling. Right. True. Those, those yeah. uh, that, like the what's that? The beautiful mistakes. What's that painter that we said? Oh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Ross. There's no mistakes. No, but there's right. something that's like freestyling. You say the wrong right. thing, you throw something out there, and now you got to figure out how to work with it. Right, right, right. You right. can't make up some shit when you freestyle. Like it's always like a beautiful mistake, you know? Yeah, so, feel that. You can't think about that shit. Not only that, but those mistakes they they spark new ideas. Yeah, and they 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 bring a, a freshness to a record. Exactly. A healthy yeah. record. Exactly, and, and the authenticity is there. Yeah. Or even like those artists that they there's some people that claim like a. Blank on name, but basically they record the whole thing one take. They don't do any cuts. They don't do anything. It's like the first one. That's it. And it feels, just go usually, out there. if it feels it's good like, after that one, that's yeah. the one. Bro. Yeah. Some people will be there an hour. They go with the first record. Yeah. And yeah. Every yeah. artist is different. Yeah. Yeah. Every artist. Is different. Every song is different. Honestly, yeah. I've done that, and yeah. I have songs where I punched in almost every four bars, like just whatever feels right. It's always a uh, every record is one on one. Exactly. Yeah. When we get out here, just go down the line. Pitch yourself real quick, Got where we can find you. Where, and after yeah. this, after uh, after this event, we do a Spotify playlist of everybody that sits right here. So after we have that, some banging ass Spotify playlist of everybody that sits here. It's interesting to see the vibes coming through. Cause yeah. they're always like last. Yeah, it's always different. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? So I love to see the diversity of the community. I love that you guys are doing this. What What's your podcast called? Again? Above language. Above language. It's on yeah. Spotify. Uh, no, we usually just run visuals. Okay. So we'll, we're hoping we'll drop. Is this out one day? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the bidding war. But, okay. Uh, uh, so we'll drop a clip of you guys on Instagram, like 20 seconds. But it, it will lead to the YouTube video that'll be the. Like, yeah, like, you know what I'm yeah, talking about? Beautiful. So, yeah, we'll get it running. So, pitch yourself, run it. But make sure you guys uh, follow and send your uh, yeah, like record. Send your record on Spotify or something that you send want. Send your record that you fuck yeah. with that represents you right now. Got you. Yo, my name is Year 2087. I'm a producer, rapper, DJ out of Chicago. I just dropped a track called Face, F A C E, featuring Filthy that's going bananas on Spotify right now. Like, I got like 7,000 like listeners like in like a month ago that wasn't a thing so um, I'm happy to like for the future um, it's in the name U 287 like it's gonna go crazy yo 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 you rocking with the booviest motherfucking live Ouija Wises I just dropped Ouija Delia on all platforms go get that new visuals coming soon new music coming soon be ready I'm the future of the city I like that energy. Yo, it's your boy Truman. That's T R M N Truman. You can call me Teddy. And I am Teddy X Bear on Instagram. I got a new project called Moonlit You're Summer Teddy coming out. Yeah, that's me. Did you DM me? I may have. I think I, I know you. I sent a ton of DMs. Where do I know you from? You probably saw. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. I've been at. Um, <laughs> I've been to Soundscape before. I was at Music Garage. I met you before. Um, I went to Columbia. Is this all going in his outro right now? Yeah, yeah. Whatever, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, all right. Thing. Boom, it's your boy Truman. <laughs> T-R-M-N. You can find me on Instagram at I am Teddy X Bear. I got a project coming out called Moonlit Summer. It's Neo Soul. It's fantastic. He's the future. His name is 2087. The That's future. the future. And I'm the future. That's what we, we are. in this bitch. Coming out. Hey, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Look forward to hearing your new shit. We're going to tap yeah. in, man. Yeah, yeah. Before I, I listen to the playlist, stuff. Uh, before yeah. I listen to the playlist, I'll, uh, you'll see me like on your Spotify for artists. Like, I'll bump the shit a bunch. Man, man. I'll, 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 I'll bump it.
Here you go, man. You know, yeah. Definitely tap in. I want to show you the shit. You see a logo, right? You see that? You know yeah, right there. Oh, you know, I tapped on the store. The top one right there. That's us. Awesome. Gratitude, y'all. This is incredible. Yeah, this is so, incredible. Gratitude, y'all. This is incredible. So, when did y'all start this? A couple months ago, actually. Right, almost a year now, actually. But uh, the actual going out and setting up interviews like this was a relatively new thing, like last couple months. But it's, uh, it's great. So, so really fun to just meet people, talk to them, man, and like uh, see what makes everyone tick and kind of just getting it out there. It's, yeah, uh, like. It's